चिंटू नाम की एक लड़की थी उसका एक गोल था कि वो 90 अबव स्कोर करे टेंथ में बट अब बचे थे सिर्फ चार महीने अब उसमें वो क्या करती जोकर अरे नहीं तो मम्मी है मुझे तो पता है तू टॉप करेगी हाँ हाँ छोटे से लेकर अभी तक तेरी तो कोई अचीवमेंट नहीं है बट टेंथ में परसेंटेज लाना तो बहुत आसान होता है नाइन्टी अबव तो तू लाई देगी मुझे पता है सो so, मुझे भी वो अफसर मिले बोलने का कि मेरे बच्चे की नाइन्टी अबव परसेंटेज आ रखी है और अगर नहीं आए तो ये और बड़ी चिंटू को लगा उसका हाफ एयर वेस्ट चले गया है बट उसके फोर मंथ्स अभी भी बाकी थे अरे आज तो तेरा केमिस्ट्री का एग्जाम है अच्छा दे के आना और बिना किसी टेंशन के दे के आना कोई प्रेशर नहीं हाँ 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 पूरे साल तक प्रेशराइज करने के बाद एग्जाम के दिन बोलते कोई प्रेशर मत लेना नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ यू मस्ट बी अग्रीन विद दिस फैक्ट दैट यू कैन स्टिल स्कोर नाइन्टी अबव परसेंटेज इन योर टेन बोर्ड्स इवन इफ यू स्टडी फॉर द लास्ट फोर मंथ्स इज इट पॉसिबल वेल इट इज पॉसिबल Even if you study for the last one month with full efficiency, you can still score 90 plus. Before starting with the video, subscribe. Tip number one: Solve the PYQs from the 10 years guide of Class 10th ICSE. 60% of the questions came from this particular book. It has questions provided with solutions. It covers almost every subject. Have a look at it. And the most unique thing about this book is that you can work out along with studying. The next tip is to solve as many questions as possible. You have to first learn the concept and then only you'll be able to solve the questions. There are a lot of books which help you to understand the concept easily in a very simple language plus they provide you the question bank. Now many of the ICSC students were asking me to recommend a book for the board preparation so a highly recommended book is educart it consists of physics chemistry and mathematics for class 10 icsc this book consists of chapter wise special notes where every topic is summarized in a very simple language and also you can understand them well through simple diagrams it consists of solve examples as well like you'll be getting an idea what kind of questions can be put up from the given text like after every para you read you'll be getting something very important note like the key points icsc suggestions are available where they tell you how to prepare and what to focus in the chapters after you read every chapter you'll be provided with some practice questions like the multiple choice question and the subjective type questions it also consists of every possible source of icsc like past 10 years past year specimen papers term 1 and term 2 board examination paper solutions and latest type questions as well i am guaranteeing you that nothing can come from outside this It also tells us about the marking scheme and what examiners say which helps you to answer the questions in a very relevant manner and the most important thing which is not provided in each and every book is the caution point where they tell you about your frequent mistakes which you often make and at last they provide you with ICSE's most important questions which have a high chance of coming in 2022 to 23 board exams and regularly repeated questions of last 5 years so if you want to score really well in each and every subject then this book is a must and even i used it link is in the description buy it now step number 3 the time is not for note making but it's time to revise everything that you wrote down till now Suppose you are revising a chapter and you come across some formulas and some important note points so you may write down those points in your sticky notes or in your formula sheet and just put it somewhere on your wall on your table or on your laptop trust me it's not for decoration purposes it's just for making you recall and remember things the fourth tip is to prevent yourself from ignoring the questions which came in the pre board paper For example you have your maths pre board paper today after giving your paper you directly throw it inside your cupboard inside your bags or inside the dustbin even <laughs> there might be questions which you weren't able to solve at that time so you don't have to ignore them you have to solve them it might happen that the same question comes in the board exam 
The next step is to analyze the question and also calculate its probability of coming in the board exam. Suppose the Chori Chora incident which took place on February 5, 1922 came in your history exam. Now this similar question came in your previous air question guide as well. So this question has 91% chance of coming in the board examinations. Now the most confusing questions of history are the dates. So you can write all the dates in one of your notebook and also this is uh, the booklet in which I have written every date. Not every date but only the date of those chapters which came in my semester 1. In my booklet not every date is important but I wrote everything down just because in my pre word paper of history one date came from a very small topic. I believed that the date will not come because it's very insignificant but it came. But if you want to have a look at my booklet in which I have written all the dates, you may see and check it out in the description box. If you ask me my biggest mistake that I ever did in my 10th boards was not practicing the numericals and instead of that, wasting my time in the theory part. I am requesting you guys to solve as many numericals as possible because these are really important. And if you are scared from 10th physics, then be ready for 11 physics. <laughs> now 99% of you guys are saying that 10 percentage is useless. Yes, in my previous video I told you that it is useless but it does not mean that you stop studying guys. So if you are feeling like you cannot start now because it's too late but the thing is that it is never late to start. So even if you study for the last 4 months, 3 months or even 2 months, you can still score above 90. Just practice, have faith in yourself, be confident but not overconfident. I hope you gained some motivation after watching this video. I'll be back with more videos so stay tuned. Bye!